Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson we're going to study probability. Now, you probably have some kind of an idea what the probability is. We can say it this way. The probability of an event expresses the likelihood of that event occurring or happening. And in mathematics, in this lesson in particular, we are looking at events where each outcome is equally likely. For example, if you roll a die, then to get one or two or three or four or five or six, each one of those are equally likely to happen, right? And so then we have this simple formula for calculating the probabilities. We just check the number of favorable outcomes, so to speak, whatever we are looking at, and then the number divided by the number of all possible outcomes. And our examples here will make this clear. It is a very simple formula. For example, if we roll a die. Now, the possible outcomes, I already told you those, they are all equally likely, and the possible outcomes is that you can get one when you roll it, or you can get two, or three, or four, or five, or six. Each one of those are equally likely. So here's an event. An event would be that we get five once we roll. And what's the probability of that? Okay, the number of favorable outcomes is how many of these means that we got five. It's one, there's one such outcome, and six in total. So the probability is one-sixth. Over here, the probability of this event, that we don't get five. So we count here how many of these are not five, right? There's five of them that are not five, and then six in total, six possible outcomes. What's the probability of rolling seven on a die? Well, that's an impossible event, right? So the probability is then zero. Or if you use the formula, you would have zero here. None of these are seven. And then there is also a possibility for a sure event to happen. Let's say that we ask the probability of getting either an even or odd number. That's a sure event to happen, and so the probability is one. Probability of an event is always a number between zero and one. It can be zero or one or anything in between. Or if you express it as percent, then it would be from zero percent to hundred percent. The probability of getting a number that's less than three, okay, there's two favorable outcomes, these two, and six in total, so we get two-sixths, or one-third if you simplify it. Over here we have an experiment where we randomly grab one marble from this bag. And these are our events. We're looking at the events of getting a blue marble. What's the probability of getting blue? So we count how many favorable outcomes there are, which is this marble, this marble, this and this. There's four. And then how many possible outcomes are there in total, or how many marbles there are in total? There are nine. Then the probability of picking a marble randomly and not getting a green one, we just count how many are not green, there's seven, and still nine in total. And the probability of not blue nor green. That would mean that we would get the red ones. So there's three red ones and nine in total again. So the probability is three ninths or one third. Over here, a class has 11 girls and 14 boys. One of them is randomly selected for committee by some method, maybe by drawing their name from a hat. Calculate the probability that Katie gets selected. Let's assume that in this class there's only one Katie, okay? Then there's one favorable outcome, which is Katie, and then there are 25 in total. I'm going to now express this as a percent. First, I'll write it as an equivalent fraction with a denominator 100, and so this is 4%. Katie has a 4% chance of getting selected, and so does every other kid in that class. What's the probability that the girl gets selected? Okay, there's 11 favorable outcomes this time, and turn to 5 in total. Again, I can write an equivalent fraction, 44 over 100, and so this is 44%. Here, calculate the probabilities as percents when this spinner is spun once. That's our experiment. We spin it once, and it should be a fair spinner, so that each outcome here is equally likely. So then we can use this formula. 
the probability of getting green. Okay, we just count how many favorable outcomes. Three and then six in total. This is of course equal to one half, so it is 50%. The probability of spinning blue, now there's just one favorable outcome, so we get one sixth as a fraction. And now we change this into a percent. You remember how? You can use a calculator and divide. One divided by six. It gives you this decimal, 0 0.1666. And then we write this as a percent, which if it was 0 0.16, it would be 16%. I need to round it though, because it is a repeating decimal. It's gonna be 16.7%. Round it to the nearest tenth of a percent. The probability of not spinning red, okay, I have five, uh, five favorable outcomes and six in total. Again, you use a calculator and divide, five divided by six, and you will get 0 0.8333. Threes are repeating, and so then that's as a percent, 83.3%. And the probability of spinning yellow. Well, there's no yellow. Impossible event. The probability is zero percent. Okay, we're all done with this lesson and I hope it was helpful.